Do you see this? And this? And this as well? We call them holograms. And today I'm gonna show you how to add them to your Minecraft server. Before we start though, it will mean a ton. Hi cow. If you could leave a like on this video, also check if you're already subscribed to the channel as most people watching my video are actually not. Around 90% of people watching my videos are not subscribed. And the only thing you have to do is smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. And by doing that, you would help me out for a lifetime. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into this. So I'm gonna show you how to add holograms to your Minecraft server using a plugin called Decent Holograms. Now Decent Holograms is a free plugin you can install on your paper or spigot server. There will be a link in the description of this video where you can download it from. Just click on download, drag it into your plugins folder and then restart your server. Now a good thing to know is that Decent Holograms is placeholder API compatible. If you don't know what placeholders are, I will try to explain it a little bit later in this video but if you want to download placeholder api and actually use placeholders with these holograms you're totally able to a link to placeholder api will also be in the description of this video downloads plugins folder restart and you're ready to go now after installing decent holograms we can start actually creating a hologram so just go and stand somewhere doesn't matter where and then we're gonna type slash dh create then we're gonna give it a name. In my case, I'm gonna name it test. And after that, you want to type whatever the hologram should say. You are able to use color codes, so that's good to keep in mind. But let's go for gold. And I'm gonna let's say subscribe to Kasai Sora. Press enter and there it is. Now you might be wondering, Kasai Sora, where's the hologram? Well, for some reason, it always spawns beneath you. So here it is. Subscribe to Kasasora. So let's say you want it at eye level. Let's just go up two blocks like that. And then I'm gonna type slash DH, move here, and then the name of our hologram. In my case, it is test. Press enter, and there it is. Subscribe to Kasasora, looking great. This time we can actually see it, which is even better. Perfect. Now, let's say I want the hologram to display more text. Then we're gonna type slash DH, line, add, then the name of your hologram, in my case, test. Then it wants you to give a page number. You probably don't know what pages are yet. It is pretty simple. I will explain it in a bit. But for now, we only got one page. So I'm going to choose for page one. And then just add whatever you want it to say. For example, in a blue color, thanks for subscribing. Press enter and there it is. Subscribe to Casasora. Thanks for subscribing. Now let's say you've not subscribed yet. That means the thank you message is not for you. So we need to delete it. How do you delete a line? Slash DH line remove. Then the name of the hologram. In my case test. Then the page number again. Which is one. And then the line we want to remove. Line one is the top one. Line two is the one beneath that. So line two. Press enter. And it's gone. It can be that simple. Now the pages. How do pages work? Well every single hologram can have multiple pages. And you can switch between them. So let's first create a new page. Slash DH page add the name of your hologram in my case test and then we're gonna tell him to add page 2 press enter and there we go page has been added so now if we do dh line add the name of the hologram and now you will see it has two pages so we can add a line to page two for example uh in a red color limited events something like that let's press enter and there it is the line has been added, but we can't see the line yet. We only see subscribe to Kasasura. Well, that's because currently it is displaying page one. If we now do slash DH page go test and then two, it will start displaying page two. Now it is saying a two up there. I think it does that by default. I think by default, it always will display the name of the page at the top. I don't care. I want it gone slash DH line remove test page two 
and then line one. And there it is, limited events. Okay, so right now it will say limited events. And this can be very useful, for example, a limited event. If you have an event on your server that uses the hologram and the event's only for a week, then you can have it display some event information on here, for example, for the weekend. And after that, you can just do DH page go test one and it will be back to the default text again and i'm just giving an example i'm sure you guys can come up with way more creative stuff but okay awesome this works you know how to create a hologram you know how to remove a line how to add a line how to add a page and how to switch between pages now like i said at the start of this video decent holograms is placeholder api compatible if you don't know what placeholders are it is a long story as i think the best way to show you what they are is just to show you how they work but before we can add a placeholder to decent holograms we need to download a placeholder pack now there will be a link in the description of this video to the page where you can download placeholder api from there will also be a big button with placeholders if you press on there you will see all the placeholders that placeholder api supports though for some of them you will still need to download a placeholder pack that's exactly what we're going to be doing now so i'm going to type p a p i space eCloud, then download, and after that I want to download the player pack. Press enter, and there it is. Successfully downloaded expansion player. Now pay epi reload, and there it is. Now we can actually add a placeholder. So I'm gonna do slash dh line add test. So this works exactly the same as adding a usual line. Then I'm going to choose for page one. And after that, I want to add a placeholder. I'm going to do percent player name percent. And this is basically what placeholders do. So percent player underscore name percent is a placeholder for a Minecraft username. In other words, if I press enter now, I will see my own Minecraft username. Just like that, Casasora. If somebody else with another Minecraft username would be looking at this, they would see their Minecraft username. But just as a quick and easy example, right now we're in the Soracraft network server, and here on the right you will see SMP online, Skyblock in dev, Creative online. Those are also placeholders. So if the SMP would go offline, for some reason it crashes or it's restarting, then it will actually showcase it here. It will automatically change. Also here inside of the server selector, you can see how many players are online. If somebody would join the SMP, then this digit would actually change. That's what placeholders are, that's how they work. But okay, cool, subscribe to Casasora. We got Casasora here, I'm happy. Now, all of a sudden, I hate this hologram. I want to delete it, I want it gone. DH, remove, test, and there it is. Okay. It can be that easy, guys. It can be that easy. Now, two more things. First of all, let's say you're currently using a hologram plugin. And you're watching this video because you're looking for a replacement. Then, after you're done watching this video, and you think to yourself, wow, decent holograms is great. I want to use it. Then, you will have to transfer all your holograms from your other hologram plugin to decent holograms. Well, you probably don't have to, because there's a way to convert holograms from a plugin you were previously using to this plugin. Just to show you, if I type slash dh convert, then you will get a list of hologram plugins it supports. So CMI, Future Holograms, G-Holo, Holograms, and Holographic Display. So if I would have Holographic Display installed on my server, I would install decent holograms, and after that I would type dh convert holograms graphic display then all the displays from holographic display will be transferred to decent holograms i can tell you it works perfectly as before version 1.19 i've always used holographic display but while holographic display got updated very frequently before it doesn't get updated that much anymore and decent holograms is now way faster with letting their plugin work on new minecraft versions now the last thing i want to show you is where the config is and what you can change in it so just go to your plugins folder after that to decent holograms and this is what you will see now first let's open the config.yml file inside of this file there will be some default settings you can change for example the default text 
from a newly created hologram. The display range, the update range, update interval. Now I wouldn't put the update interval too high as 20 is already one second. Every single second it will check the placeholder and update the hologram. That's already a lot. I wouldn't make this higher as it could really lag out your server. And if you're not using any placeholders, then you might even want to consider to make this number higher as it could reduce lag. Now here you can also change heights and all that stuff. It are just some very basic general settings you can change just after you download this plugin go over them once but in general you don't have to change that much here inside of the holograms folder you will see all the holograms you currently have on the server i only have test.yml and if you open it you will just see some information here like the location it has in the world if it is enabled or not the display range update range the interval and you will also see exactly what it says now if you want you can also just change the information over here so you don't have to do it in game you could in theory create a hologram just from here you know copy this file copy the test of yml and then just change this information so you will have another hologram that's completely possible though i would not recommend it as doing it in game is way easier and then that's gonna be it i really really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to leave a like and if you're new to the channel not subscribed yet and you did enjoy the content make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell you would help me out so extremely much you really really would just that single press and you would make me an extremely happy man and then with all that being said i hope you have an amazing day if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them in the comments of this video and then i will see you in the next one bye bye